like that. <laughs> Good morning, Talk Thailand. How y'all doing today? Oh, got some got some early bird risers here, getting our uh, bikes all packed up. Here, I've got on my Kachana Berry shirt. <laughs> Guess who else decided to wear his Kachana Berry shirt? <laughs> you, you got the email. I got the email, <laughs> yeah. so I told him I would wear it. <laughs> Just by chance. Oh, anyway, I'm going to show you this bike here that I parked yesterday. I didn't pay much attention to it, but it is incredible Hawk style wrap on a BMW. Well, you guys tell me. Oh. There we've got the Hulk. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, they've got coffee in the lobby. That's our next objective. Um, then we're going to go to PTC Gas Up, and then we're going to be on our way to Mei Hong Song. Oh, almost forgot to ask you. Hey, if you like our videos, please like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Helps the channel. It's free. Give you a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. But anyway, it helps our channel grow. Helps Sassy May as far as that goes. But anyway, if you like the videos again, please like and subscribe. And let's go get some of that coffee. Talking about things you run into when you're in Thailand. Got this motorcycle gang here. Look at all these cool bikes. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> they are they're, they're having a good time. Smile, Lomak. <laughs> Wow. Oh, look at that one. Good, good, good. I guess if they're all 125s. Yep, that one there says 125 on it. Sweet. Yeah, these guys are going up north too, but uh, yeah, super, super good bikes. I mean, these guys cruising down the road, heck, they're probably only going 50 kilometers an hour revving it up, but they're having a blast. There goes your pitcher. Anyway, we stopped here for coffee. This is about my third stop here. Took a little bit. Took a little bit of time to get the park the bikes parked because it's uneven. It's at a slant, if you can tell it. But it's a little coffee shop about an hour outside of Tak. Um, I was here with Mr. Gordon and Brian and Margaret, and of course Sassy Bay. But the best part about it is. <laughs> Not because it's got swings or a hanging chair. The best part of this is this, guys. I don't know if the camera picking all that up. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to be having coffee here? <laughs> Someone's having a good time. <laughs> hey, what do you think of this stuff? Good morning, Sunday. Is it Sunday today? Yes. Oh, okay. Today's Sunday. Yeah, it would be Sunday. Yes. Anyway, what do you think of the beautiful view? It's wonderful, happy. Okay, cool. We're just waiting for our coffee. Sassy's all excited. <laughs> Hey, look, look what Maud found. Oh, the hair on Again. that. The hair on yeah. that baby. Oh, my Buddha. Oh, it's been all <laughs> Okay, so we finished up our coffee and we'll be heading that way, but we're on some pretty curvy roads. It's hard to tell the elevation changes when you're on your GoPro, but uh, just beautiful mountainous up there. But <laughs> I can't say enough uh, about this area here. Anyway, back on the road we get. Hey, along this road we got the uh, cornfields on the side of the hills of the mountains. And as you travel along, you come along spots where they actually have the corn in these burlap bags 
waiting to be uh, shelled. Very interesting. Hey, you can take the boy out of the farm, but you can't take the farm out of the boy. Hey, so all you guys back in Minnesota, there's this cornfields on the hillside here. They pack the corn in these uh, burlap bags. Here's the corn sheller. You all know what's going on. But can you imagine harvesting corn, picking it by hand, and then throwing it in burlap bags, and then have to feed it through a corn sheller on the side of the road? Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, and then after they shell the corn, Next to the corn sheller, these pickups are parked there. You can see in the back of the pickup, that is shelled corn. And they make their way down the mountain very slowly, trying to conserve their brakes. But uh, some are uh, half full, some are full full. But um, yeah, that is the harvest of corn here in Thailand, up in the mountains. Unbelievable. Love to see this stuff. Okay, we just got off the off of the 1175 on top over to 105. 105 follows the uh, Miramar Burmese border, and there's multiple checkpoints along that road. Um, again, I don't know what they're checking for, but they'll stop you and ask you questions every once in a while. People want to know where you're going. Of course, they're there probably looking for certain things coming across the border trying to stop uh, illegal activities and things like that. Um, no big deal, just if they ask you questions, tell them where you're going, and they usually let you through. Anyway, here we go. There's a lot of checkpoints along the Mara, because of the Miramar border here. So. Okay. Up. Bye, uh, Mei Hong Song. Well, we thought we were stopping to see a cave, but we, there's some pretty cool stuff here. We found the Buddha that was in the picture of the cave. But as you can see this railing here in the black hole, cannot go. So this stop is a bust. So on to the next one. But you gotta try it. You never know what you're gonna see until you try. Okay, well we found the entrance of the cave. The guy says we can go in this way. So we're gonna check it out. Okay, the guy came and turned the lights on for us. Brought us back here. Water. Okay, and like I said, we did get into the cave, thank God. Or Buddha. The Buddha was looking out for us. Okay, good find. Get back on the bikes and uh, on to the next adventure. Just goes to show you, yeah, don't give up hope. Looked like we weren't going to be able to find anything, and we did find something pretty cool. Sure, it wasn't the biggest cave in the world, but you know what? Worse, worth the stop and worth seeing. Anyway, we're going to hit the road again. 
juice. My wife's drinking can cannabis water. <laughs> Don't rat me out. Oh, huh? wait till her kids see this. <laughs> oh my Buddha. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Here, I'm gonna. Okay. Okay, little restaurant on the side of the road, little noodle shack. Everyone's having noodles. Made the flies are bothering May. Did you shower this morning? <laughs> but yeah, noodle, 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 soup, 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 guy, guy, and pork. I'm gonna dig in. It's gonna be good, guys. Yeah. My aroy. Ha. My aroy. My. No good. Noodle, no good. No good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I pretty yes. much lick. I pretty much lick the bowl with my finger. <laughs> well, that was a good lunch. Everybody enjoyed. Oh, we even had time for ice cream. Oh, na. What kind of ice cream we got? Oh, Kit Kat bar. Oh, bar. Well, we'll wait. Lisa's warm enough. Uh, it'll probably melt fast. Anyway, we're gonna hit the road again. Uh, next, we're gonna try to see a cave. So. Waterfall. Oh, no, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, the cave was the last one. Waterfall. <laughs> okay, Mark, yeah, waterfall, waterfall. Good job, Mark, good catch. <laughs> the 105 follows the Miramar border, so across the river, that is Miramar, otherwise known as Burma. Okay, okay we made it to our stop to the waterfall. This is the, probably the most videoed and photo waterfall of all of Thailand. Guys, hang on to your hats. It, it's like spectacular. Oh, this is spectacular. Oh, this is beautiful. I think it's probably one of the most entertaining stops we have. We rolled up here. Oh, we all started to laugh. This is the waterfall. Oh, my Buddha. <laughs> anyway, before we get run over in the road, I'm going to get off the highway. <laughs> anyway, you never know what you're going to see when you turn a corner in Thailand. Well, a couple of months ago, the 105 was washed out from heavy rains and it took this complete section of the highway and just blasted it into the river. It didn't leave much, uh, much left. So anyway, they're going to reconstruct it, get it back together again. But thank God it's open so we could make our way through. This section got washed out by the rain about two or three months ago. Here we've got some old Farang on the side of the road. Well, you guys have been here before. <sighs> with uh, Brian and Margaret and Gordon. It's a regular stop we make. Uh, the sad part is it's gotten more trashier and trashier. I don't know what the <laughs> deal is. All the time. It's a bus stop. But the attraction is the view. Take a break. The view, the view, the view, the view. Oh uh, if you can see way over there. Did it not even have the view, the view. No. Did not the target yet. 1,000. How you doing, Miss Sassy, man? Yes, I'm good. Oh, that's How you doing, so Mr. Mark? My butt's on. <laughs> oh, your butt's on. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you guys came along for the ride. But uh, yeah, so far we're having a good time. Honey, you fall down that hill. <laughs> and I'm not going to get you. So, <laughs> yeah, you're on your own. Honey, you're on your own. Oh, I don't know if I should film her going down the edge, edge of the mountain. <laughs> Be me. Nice. We're at the Riverbank Hotel. Pretty nice. Yeah. Hey, 
<laughs> right on the river. It's pretty cool. All the rooms up there have balconies. We've got little little sofas in front of our rooms. I'm sorry, but these are this is pretty yeah, high class right cool. here. Yeah. This is nice. Let's go check out the room, guys. Um, 700 and change. Well, here we go. Two beds. Aircon. We've got a 19 or a 15 inch TV. Uh, back around the corner. Let's see what we're going to find. Refrigerator. And it's kind of cramped in here. I might not be able to show you the bathroom. Well, here it is. If I could find where the electricity is. Up, oh, found it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, pretty basic. But then again, you know what? Not too bad. Everything else in this town's upward to over a thousand to two thousand baht. So I'm happy. There's the view from the windows, which is the river. We had a heck of a ride coming in here, so. We kind of got a community communal space here. I think we're going to enjoy. We can have happy hour here. Yes, that's a mod. That's what I was just saying. We're going to drink here tonight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, the River Bank Hotel. Yeah, kind of digging it. Look what I found in my room. <laughs> it's kind of like going to the zoo. <laughs> Monkeys eating a banana. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> hey, hey, do you think she can hear me through the window? They go, oh, 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 oh. And what kind of trailer trash redneck laundry service do we have going out here? We've got underwear and shirts. And stuff hanging up, boy. I tell you, when Sassy Mae makes herself at home, she makes herself at home. But hey, look at the view. Oh, that sunset's gonna be super good tonight over the river. We are at the Chokiet Pool and Pizza. Reading that right off of my phone, right on the main drag here in Mae Hong Song. Pretty cool place. They've got a older Royal Enfield motorcycle sitting right in the right in the restaurant but nicely uh, put up a lot of signage a lot of stuff going on I think they've got rooms upstairs possibly they've got a couple of pizza ovens tonight they're all right, we're out of luck with the burgers because they're out of buns but uh, the girls are working on the pizzas but yeah I think there's a uh, Maybe a guest house back there? I don't know, maybe they live. I think I'm intruding on some of privacy, who knows. But anyway, we just ordered some pizzas and the beer's coming. The gang's all happy. How was today's ride? It was excellent. Good. Very good. It was very curvy. Very curvy. Yeah. <laughs> that's putting she it. had a lot of curves. That's putting it mildly, very curvy, mildly curvy. <laughs> I, I would have hated to count how many curves we went on. Uh. Did you like today's ride? Yes, my yeah. Hey, we almost ran over those those uh, geese. Those goose were walking across yeah, the road. <laughs> the long necks. If they would have turned left, I would have nailed them. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you the pizza when it comes. I ordered what they call the Mexican pizza. Mr. Mark states that it tastes like a taco. Like a taco. Tacos are Mexican. Yeah, tacos are Mexican, so I'm going to take his word for it. I'm going to dig into this. Don't need to show you the bite because um, I'm hungry. Anyway, let's have some Mexican chicken pizza. Got one. Okay. I got to show you. You pour the chicken from Mexico. Mark's right. Tastes like a cho taco. Took a chance and everything came out great. Well, we're going to end this video right here tonight. So anyway, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. We just came back and had a little bit of a nightcap. Back to the hotels, navigate the stairs. 
But yeah, that was our day of motorcycle riding here in Thailand. You want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye bye, everybody. This way, lights. Bye bye, everybody. Please Good like, night. like, and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. See you tomorrow. Some nights editing videos are harder than others. <laughs> Oh, this room is so small we don't even have room <laughs> anyway we'll get this video up to you guys but uh, yeah it's gonna be challenging my workstation